Hello, this is Rocket Man Dan, and today we're going to be landing on Duna. It's quite simple really. We're going to go into the map screen. I'm just going to walk round to the dark side. So when I start my retrograde burn, we can land in the daylight. There we go. I'm going to stay locked to retrograde. I'm just going to press square over the periapsis so it stays locked to place. And I want this down below 10,000, I'm going to say. So I'm just going to hit burn now. There we go. Just over 8,000. And that means we should land somewhere about here, I think. So I'm going to go back into the staging screen there we go turn my lights on just so you at home can see what's happening and when i hit the atmosphere just as i hit the atmosphere i'm going to do an eva don't feel the need you've got to do this because it it can mean jeb can go flying off and well let's just say it won't end very well for jeb so let's just fast forward on until we hit the atmosphere There we go, Jeb can do his EVA report now. If you, want to, if you are going to do this, you want to do this as soon as you hit the atmosphere, just so you don't get blown away by those aerodynamic forces. Turn your SAS back on, don't forget, and lock to retrograde. There we go, I'm also going to do my other bits of science. Now, before I fast forward this through the descent, what I'm going to do is as I get closer and closer to the ground I'm going to want my parachutes here to turn into the white and that means they're safe to deploy and once they do deploy it should decrease my speed down to about 25 meters a second and then as I'm coming in for landing just as we do on Kerbin I'll have the landing gear exposed and also I shall give it a, a few small thrusts with the engine just to make sure we don't land too hard. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward this now, just so you don't have to watch the boring bits. And if you look just here at the top of the nav ball, you can see the speed starting to decrease as I come in contact with the lower atmosphere. There we go, I've just popped out of time warp now. Just waiting for those parachutes to be ready to deploy. There we go. I'm deploying my parachutes. They'll slow down a lot of that speed. There we go, extend that landing gear as well. Lovely. And remember, turn yourself round so it's just like on Kerbin. There we go. And if we press L1 and R3 at the same time, get an internal view and see our actual altitude. We're just about 1500 meters above the surface. L1 and R3 again to get out of that. I'm just going to do a quick EVA report because apparently I don't like Jeb. Lock to retrograde again. There we go. And we're going to watch out for our shadow. There it is. Just there. Be a nice slow descent. But make sure you watch that shadow so you can see just how far off the ground you are. And give it some short, sharp bursts of your engine just before you touch down because at 23 meters a second this is still way too fast for this landing gear so look at the altitude oh about 200 so when that says about 5200 we'll be nearly at the floor there we go thrust just going to keep giving it some thrusts make sure we don't hit that ground too hard 
There we go, perfect landing. Don't forget, once you're on the surface, do all your science just like this. Now, if you want to do an EVA where you're actually going to stand on the floor, make sure you've either put some ladders on your vehicle or you're quite proficient with the RCS system. To get out, you, you can still just fall to the floor. That's no problem. It won't hurt Jeb too much, not from this height. But getting back up can be a different story. There we go. Let's go and plant a flag. Oh yeah, if you, if you want to turn your light on on your, on your helmet there, you want to hold in L1, you just tap square. There we go, L1 and square. Turn Jeb's little light on. If you look, it takes a lot of thrust just to give the RCS, there we go, say he's just getting off the floor. The gravity is quite high on Duna. So let's plant our flag. There we go, UK space. Now, let's get back in the vehicle and do that ascent. RCS on. Let's just try and get into the cockpit. Perfect. Board that. SAS back on, obviously. Now, I'm going to do a quick save now, just like I suggest you do because getting off a Duna can be quite tricky sometimes and you don't want to have to go through all that again. Okay, let's get orbital. This specific design of ship, because these radial tanks haven't got engines on, my fuel levels won't show correctly. So I'm just going to press square on the tank and I'm just going to leave that open. When I launch, I'm going to tilt over to about here aiming for about 45 degrees once I've got high enough and I'm just going to stay there until I get an apoapsis of roughly about 60,000 so let's get through this once a launch as well I'm going to also bring in that landing gear there we go and I'm going to hold it about there go onto my map screen There we go, that should be fine. So I've got quite a bit of fuel left in these radial tanks, should have enough to circularise and maybe use them for part of the way of getting home. So I'm just going to go back into the map screen, L1 plus R1. There we go, get a check on the apoapsis and just plan a manoeuvre. Click exit my apoapsis, cycle through with R1 push forward on the left analog stick to gain some prograde and we just want this to be a nice circular orbit there we go that should do fine it's 551 meters per second burn so 47 second burn maybe that will go a little bit less once you're out of the atmosphere and it recalculates so I'm going to start burning about 23 seconds before the node There we go, turn over, start burning. Try and stick that to that manoeuvre as best you can. Let's just have a look at that orbit, shall we? 61 and 63, that's pretty circular. Cancel that manoeuvre. There we go, and we've still got a little bit of fuel left in these tanks. Oh yeah, Jeb's loving that on his first visit to Duna. Okay, so now we've got back into orbit, we want to plan our manoeuvre back to Kerbin. And Kerbin's not in the right position anymore. About three, if you imagine the sun as the centre of the clock, you want Kerbin to be at about three o'clock, Duna to be at about two o'clock. That's all gone misshaped now. So what you can do is just fast forward time until you see that happening 
or you can use that launch window planner I left a link in the description of the last video that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to do a small cut now till I fast forwarded to the right time today's date is year 2 day 88 there we go I fast forwarded time now to year 3 day 244 let's go into the map screen I'm going to zoom right out using L2 and if you just have a look, you can see we're all in position now. We've got Kerbin set as target. So what we want to do is plan our manoeuvre. We want to do a prograde manoeuvre, which will be retrograde to the sun there. So I'm thinking we plan it somewhere about here. Well, that'll be a bit too soon. So I'll just show you a little thing. We're going to cycle through with our one all the way around to here and in the bottom right we're going to do plus and that means that's on the next orbit not this current orbit we can do it with minus as well but we want to do it pl for plus and that's in 45 minutes give us plenty of time to sort that maneuver out cycle back through again with our one and just hit prograde you want about 600 meters a second About there, let's zoom out. Let's see what we've got here. See if we're anywhere close. Oh, not too bad. We just need to move the maneuver around a bit. So I'm just going to cycle through with our one. And see that periapsis lowering? There we go. And we want to meet Kerbin somewhere about where our periapsis is going to be. So I'm just going to cycle through and give it a little bit of prograde again. There we go. Can you see his closest encounters there? You want to do a little bit of messing about with this. I'm just going to cycle through, prograde, retrograde, just give it all, see what's happening. There we go, we've got a lovely encounter with Kerbin, right on his periapsis. See it comes all the way around, and at the lowest part of my orbit, I actually meet with Kerbin. I'm not too worried about where it exactly is at the moment. Just knowing we've got an encounter, that's the main thing. We're going to do a mid-course correction once we've done this. So exit this screen, make sure to turn the SAS on if yours is turned off like mine had. And with these tanks I'm just going to do that same thing again, just so I know when to drop them. Let's fast forward on round to that manoeuvre now. There we go. Because my estimated burn is 1 minute 9 seconds, I want to start burning about 39 seconds before the node. 35 seconds, sorry. There we go. There we go. Just drop those radial tanks. Just going to finish the burn now. Let's go onto the map screen and see what that's got in store for us. Now I'm going to cancel the manoeuvre. And yes, we have indeed got a encounter with Kerbin. So I'm going to fast forward to about midway. So let's get this started off, just so the PS4 can't mess us around too much. Okay, we're at about midpoint now. What I'm going to do is focus on curbing. I'm just going to plan a manoeuvre as close as I can get to myself. That seems about okay, two, two hours, 59 minutes. Add manoeuvre there. And let's just zoom right into Kerbin using R2. There we go, it's, still, it's not too bad. We're just going to cycle through with R1 and keep it on the prograde retrograde and just give it a touch of retrograde, pulling down on the left analog stick. And I'm going to cycle through again. I mean, it's only the smallest of burns, 10.5 meters per second. Cycle through just so I can go to the normal, anti-normal. And I'm just going to go anti-normal now. And I want my periapsis on Kerbin to be hitting the atmosphere because we're going to use the atmosphere to slow down what we are now, oh, still miles away. 
let's give it a touch more retrograde and a little bit more anti-normal. Oh, just the same as when we was going for Duna. It's the smallest of touches and you can overshoot by millions of kilometers. So I'm going to cycle back through to retrograde. I'm just going to try and ever so gently just nudge this. Oh, see, even that, just too far. I mean, that can't have been much at all. So I'm just going to mess about with this till I can get it to about 30,000. There we go, <laughs> 29,975, that'll have to do. So I'm going to come out of the map screen. There we go. I'm just going to turn that thrust limiter down because it's such a small burn. We won't need all that. That seems about right, 2.55. Go back into the map screen. I'm just going to warp to my maneuver. There we go, let's turn into position and give it what we've got. Okay, that manoeuvre is complete now. And if you look at that encounter there, it's very much, it's got a very large curve. And that's what you want when you're trying to get an encounter with another body. You want that curve to be as curved as possible, almost horseshoe shape. Well, a V in this particular instance, and that means it's going to be very easy to get an orbital capture. I think we'll even have enough fuel left of maybe getting some kind of eccentric orbit. Okay. So let's just start this fast forwarding off. Go into the map screen again. And start fast forwarding off from here. And I'm just going to time warp till we get about here. And here we are back at Kerbin back home. So I'm going to turn into a normal. Go there. Turn the lights back on as well, just so you can see something. I'm just going to fast forward till we get to about 100 kilometers. Yes, 100 kilometers from the ground. Okay, that seems about fine. Let's stage. And point to retrograde. It's just what we want. We've got plenty of ablator left to do this. Should be fine. We start off with a hundred. I bet we probably won't only use about 40 of that. There we go, coming in for a soft landing. Jeb's home safe. Let's recover this vessel and see how we did. Okay, that's great. We earned just over 2,000 science doing that. Let's see what else we did. We earned quite a bit of funds as well. We've got nearly a million in the bank now. Oh, and Jeb earned another star. That's absolutely great. We should be able to lock to manoeuvre now. Okay then, that's the end of today's episode. Next time, I should be doing an episode on rendezvous and docking. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to like, share and subscribe, that'd be great. And if you want to leave me a comment, I'd love to get the messages. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.